just when I thought it was gonna be Shoko's arc. No, we're going with Futaba, and she's starting an OnlyFans, got that NSFW Twitter account, but why? I think it's just because she's been so repressed and she wants to really show this different side of herself, feeling herself. There's nothing wrong with that per se. But this is all to get Kunimi's attention. And you know that girl? I think it's Kunimi's girlfriend, right? The girl that, that like, uh, Sakata basically said, are you in your period? Are you constipated? I stepped back and really thought about what's going on. She is totally in the right. She's actually going out with Kunimi. And this other girl seems to be trying to get to her. And like, I'm like saying, fuck off, bitch. What are you doing? But if you really step back and think about it, she's in the right. It's just because of how she presents herself in front of Sakata, right? She's being such a bitch, but I think that this is actually pretty reasonable. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction, though. She has her lab coat at home, too. Making with science speakers. I don't know. He, keeps, he does keep doing that, though. Hey, yo. Better not let my hear this. <laughs> hey, she's building up a big account, you know? You can really take advantage of it. Oh, you created it. And then Futaba, obviously, the other one just kind of took it off. <laughs> Dude, she's a homewrecker. No, it's not. You're using your cards that you're dealt, you know? Girls can do that. Guys can't, really. You gotta do some other sh Actually, guys can do that. There's a market for that, too. Oh. I mean, she is pretty voluptuous. What? No, you should not feel that way. It, it gets a lot of likes. If it does. I think... I don't know. I'm not a girl, so I can't really relate. But if I had some big-ass titties and big ass at a young age and guys were, like, staring at me, wouldn't it kind of feel not disgusted, but more like, oh... I got it going on. It's like, damn, I'm pretty hot. Shouldn't you feel like... I don't know. Like, uh... What's, what's the word? Uh, you're like, not proud, but... I don't know. But not filthy. Maybe it's the culture here. <laughs> yeah, how do you know? You've been checking it? <laughs> My man Sakata is refreshing. It's like, did she post any new content? Idols? Oh. That's you! Wow, Mai's got some fans! This is reminding me of Oshinoko. You just gotta keep it confidential. Yeah, cause like if they were, if it was publicly disclosed that Mai has a boyfriend, then people will be upset. Mega fans would be like, who oh, is this? I'm gonna stalk her and kill him! Or? Oh, yeah, you, but what about your career? I, I don't know. Yeah, we, we can't just say fuck it. And just, I mean, it'd be very romantic, out of love, that Mai would just, you know, stick with Sakata and do all that, but you still gotta think business sense. You gotta make a living. I agree. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts. I'm glad that Mai would be willing to do that. Hey, it's you. So, you post any new content? Hey, yo. You wanna show them to me? I can critique it. I can show you which one's the best one. We can post it together. <laughs> this is pretty SFW. Oh. Don't, don't, don't post middle school content. What the fuck? Uh, no, we don't. No. Uh -uh. No, no, no. no. No, I can kind of tell. I can kind of tell. She's always had that kind of atmosphere around her. So which one's gonna stay? Can they just fuse back together? Yeah, I thought you were gonna hang out the entire day with her. What are you doing? Hey, get off. Hey. Alright, bye. Yeah, I thought that was the plan. We gotta do the fusion dance from Dragon Ball. We gotta get the potara earrings, maybe. That'll help. <gasps> How could she do that to the cute bird cracker? Stop it! I love how they both do it. <laughs> I mean, they're the same person, right? Kunimi. Maybe the goal is for Futaba to, like, get closure with Kunimi. And then she'll return back. 
Is that the deal? No more posting online, only send it to me? Oh. Who is it? Hmm? That's high for oh. oh oh uh 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 oh we got some stalkers this is dangerous how did they get her number? I thought they might be if you blow me I'll tell your school the entire thing. What fuck? Who is this? Hmm? I'm not sure what he did there. What? Someone knows. This isn't necessarily gonna solve everything. Right? <laughs> it's just a full on grab like this. Usually, the cute thing to do is grab the sleeve like a little pinch, right? <laughs> but she just fucking. Oh. Oh, damn. That's your place? Got gated. Damn. Oh, yo, Futaba's rich as fuck. That explains it. That explains it. They're fucking. They're rich, rich. That's your bathroom? Holy shit, dude. This is amazing. I would imagine there's like an indoor like fountain. I, I don't know. It's like a, such a bougie house. It's like a man shit. He really... Even here, he's sitting right outside. They gotta... He keeps talking to her while she's taking a bath right outside. You got some kind of dependency, right? With Kunimi and... and uh... Sakta, but now they both kind of have girlfriends. Mm. It feels like she's getting left behind, right? She should, she should fight Kunimi's girlfriend. One on one. Are we still hang out? Huh? No, he'll be there for you. <laughs> Oh, he'll do it. Kunimi will do it. He's a stand-up guy. Look, he came on his bike. He's such a good guy. But this is... <laughs> this wasn't even like a serious thing. We just dragged him out. <laughs> you remember that one time Sakuta was on a trip with Mai and he called Kunimi at like 1am and he still picked up. He's like, bro, are you fucking serious? Oh, she's so happy that Kunimi would go this far. Because we're friends, aren't we? I love how he just gaslighting him. He fucking, he fucking biked all the way here at night. Sakta was like, bro, it's your fault, bro. How dare you make her cry? No, you still got friends even though they got girlfriends? Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen if they get married. You know, people drift apart, but for now, you got them. Is this all just gonna be resolved by Taba realizing, you know, Kunimi and Sakta won't... Kunimi and Sakta won't go away just because they have girlfriends? You're gonna light some fireworks and we're gonna be fine? I feel like Futaba still has to have some closure and like confront Kunimi about her feelings. Wow, seeing her smile like this is weird. I've never seen her like laugh like that either. This is actually the happiest I've ever seen her. Good, you guys should break up. Gotta keep it in the down low. That means we can hang out as friends then. Hey! I'll have a boyfriend. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Probably already the morning. Having one of these nights is... I think everybody's done it in high school. It's pretty fun. So are we good? I wish you two were girls. <laughs> Why? I guess because it'd be easier to see them as friends rather than like get attached in a romantic way, maybe. This Futaba might have needed to go to... No! No, this one's doing fine. It was the other one that was more shook up, but... I, I don't know. I feel like she missed out on a lot there with Kunimi and Sakuta at night, you know? Hmm? What? Yeah, you missed out on this. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's terrible! Oh, the kitty is getting... <laughs> I don't have cats, but I hear they do that sometimes when you're just sleeping. Damn, he has to bike in this fucking raid. Back at school? The si yes. Okay. Didn't know that school's just open. I guess Japanese schools are always open. I thought we were gonna take the other futaba. I, I guess that futaba already had the all-nighter, so we should take this futaba. 
Why? You don't got plans. You don't got a boyfriend. Huh? No, no one's asking for that. I um kind of true I guess the other Futaba is kind of like smiling and yeah that one's doing a lot better it's this one that we need to really save <laughs> I, <laughs> that's exactly I'm like yo she should have been the one out there <laughs> oh my god no, it's not like that. You can make new memories, though. This is all part of his plan, right? Yeah, you, you can take a new picture together with you this time. Passing out? Probably just tired from biking in the rain and being exhausted. My. Are you not even worried? I'm sure she is, but the first thing she says is <laughs> This is what you get, bitch. It's bedside manners from you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Every chance he gets, he always takes the shot. But, there's, there's a but coming, right? There's no but? You're just gonna say it's okay to... Yeah, where, where was the build-up? You know, it's okay to hit yourself. But he's like, that's it. Just hit yourself. That is true. Okay? He's smiling a little bit more. And if we go to the firework trip, maybe everything will get solved. Yeah, we can take a picture and replace that screensaver picture on your phone right now. Okay, okay. Kunimi. She's so timid, quiet when talking about Kunimi. Uh, do you want to go to the fireworks with me? There it is. Why she run? Huh? Wait. Did she just disappear after saying that? She, like... Why is she on the phone now? Wait, uh. I, I guess because she was able to finally take initiative and talk to Kunimi. She got sucked back into the phone and became one with Futaba. I don't know. They're, they're back together. Whatever. Huh. I love you. What do you think? I. What is it? I... No, he heard it. What'd you say? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> she just wanted to get it off her chest, right? Sakata just watching the fireworks, like, alright, I just gotta act cool. But I think she did confess, or at least get her feelings off. No, break up with her and get with me! Alright, whatever. post credit scene? My phone? That's... That's a blonde girl. That's... That's not my. Who? Who? Huh? When did you turn blonde? This is my, right? What? Who was that girl at the end? She's blonde. Same bunny phone case. But... Was that my? Technically... Didn't my say that she has like a... Like a half-sister? Or something? Maybe something along that lines? I don't really know. Anyways, we're done with the Futabar. Two episodes, short and quick. I think she got what she wanted to get off her chest. Still kind of a mystery of who that guy was that texted her at the train stop saying, you know, I know everything. Oh, I don't know. I'll rat you out, but interesting. How do you guys feel about this Futaba arc? Um, I feel like at the end with the fireworks, her kind of saying something, we couldn't really hear anything, but I think it's pretty much implied that in some way or the other, she basically not confessed, but got her feelings off her chest to Kunimi, and Kunimi was like, yeah, I kind of already knew, maybe, I, I don't know, but it looks like she was able to get over it, she got closure, and she knows that they can all be friends together and move on. I thought that there might be something more grandiose that, I don't know, something really sad, or, because you guys are, are saying, like, this shit's really sad, like, this anime is really sad that you're gonna cry, and I'm like, nah, 
I'm a strong man. I ain't going to cry. I will never cry, but I thought maybe it's not this arc. Maybe it's the next arc's coming up, right? We'll see what happens. But hey, we're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.